Hello, my name is Sam, and today I will be teaching you how to download and play um, UFC Undisputed 3 on RPCS3 uh, version 009-9886. Uh, first, you want to go to the emulator download page and download uh, the newest version. After you download the newest version, you want to get my cache that I have up for download. I'll leave a, a link. Uh, for this version, we have to upgrade and then downgrade using uh, the 0078619 version <clears throat> also. And this will uh, allow you to play it on an updated version without the sound uh, going out on you. So let me just make sure I'm getting the right version one more time. Nine eight eight six. Okay. And I already have double oh seven version, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So extract this. And I'm going to pause it for a second while I set it up. And we'll go from there. Okay, you want to install the firmware first. The Make sure you're using version 4.82. Even if it says it's the updated version, just go ahead and install this one. Um, after the firmware, you want to add your game. And I will show you the settings that you want to put in your game, as well as the firmware settings uh, that I'm currently using that make sure that the, the, the doctor comes out, you know, uh, whenever a cut is too bad. So that making sure that the doc stop, <laughs> the doctor stoppage works correctly. And I'll continue to use or work on this firm, firmware more to try to get even more bugs out of it. So let's see, I'm going to pause it here while I add the game and get the configuration for everybody to copy. Okay, now you want to create a custom config. Uh, let's see. These are just quick settings. Doesn't really matter. We're going to change all this stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause it. For yours, you should be able to play it. It should cut off. Um, I just want to save some time so I can give you the actual config and how to get it working. All right. The game will most likely go through the title or crash before title. That's why I leave my cache. Add, uh, replace all for the cache. Uh, let's see. Then after that, you want to add the same files I select. 
Oh. Come on. Select these files and replace. Uh, now, when you start up, the game shouldn't crash, but we're going to upgrade. Okay, now you're using version 0078619. We added that over the newest version. So, um, you just want to go in to the game to make sure it's not crashing from the sound at this point. Uh, after you put in my cache, you should be able to do this uh, right after you've installed the newest version or right after you uh, copied over the 0078619 version. After you make sure that the sound doesn't cut, uh, then we're going to add my other version, the 009 version. <clears throat> okay. Now that you've made sure that it's not crashing from the sound, I want you to select these files um, from your 0099886 folder. Copy these over, replace all, okay. And now I'm going to give you my settings pretty quick here. So we'll add these to the new one. Okay, those are already correct. So these are all correct. Oh, yes, one quick note. All right. We have to go into the GUI config. Excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. So we can write true. So we can have the debug tab come open. Okay, audio, sound mix the stereo, I normally don't, you can or can't, up to you. We're going to come back to that. Now I'm going to pause it Okay, after that, save your configuration and you should be able to play the game with way less crash, dock stops, and most features working.